Hi, welcome to uh, a very short video regarding the new release of the Boss Temporos. Uh, this is just a really quick guide uh, on how to do it, as well as a showcase of uh, what loot you can expect at level 72 fishing and with uh, 101 uh, reward points. So first of all, it's it's in the desert that you can really easily get there through through Al Car Al uh, Just south of the bank is is a boat there, and there's a fishing shop even though you don't need it, but uh, it's there anyway. The recommended gear is on the screen right now, and uh, the more fishing gear you got, the better. But you don't need it. Everything you need is on that ship. Uh, that includes a harpoon, fishing net. Uh, actually, you don't need a fishing net, you want to tr uh, change that to a hammer, a uh, bucket of water and a rope. Uh, that's all you need for for this uh, minigame. So what you do is you start fishing uh, for those harpoon fish. And uh, there's two kind of fishing uh, spots. There's one that has a chance to give double, and that's the one you see on the screen right now with the jumping fish. So there's a chance to get double fish, which means you, you collect them faster. One thing you need to dodge is this wave, and you dodge it by tying yourself up to the totem pole or whatever the thing is, and you need a rope for that, so that's why you always need one rope. If you get hit by it, you will lose stuff. Um, after you finish, um, or actually there is uh, another mechanic there, as you can see on the screen right now, which is the thunder cloud. You also want to avoid those, and that's why you have your bucket of water, because you can set out the fires so you can get to the boat safely. If you run through them, you will also lose items. Uh, here you can see these spawns at, spawn at, at uh, predetermined intervals, so they're kind of easy to predict once you once you know how the, the game works. Once you've cooked your uh, harpoon fish, uh, you can go and shoot them through the cannon. And you want to do this for maximum points. If you want maximum finish, uh, a fishing uh, experience, then you will not cook them, but rather just turn them in to the ammo thing uncooked. There, that way you will get more fishing experience, but less reward points. Once uh, the essence or the energy has gone down to zero, you can actually start killing the boss. And that's by doing nothing special really, you just run into the middle and uh, fish in this middle pool so you see the health in the top right corner or top left corner go down. Uh, that's the entire phase one and two and then you just repeat it until you are done. So you go back to fishing again and uh, try to get as much fish, cook it or don't cook it depending on whatever you want then turn in and so on, like super simple. Uh, forwarded a little bit, uh, here is then the kill, uh, it's uh, nothing special again, this is now phase 2 uh, on the round 2 I guess, so usually this game takes two, uh, two full rounds of phase 1 and 2. Uh, once you complete it, or the boss is dead, uh, you will get automatically teleported after uh, like 10 seconds or 20 seconds, but you can also right click the NPCs and choose leave to leave faster. That's the boss. You also want the hammer actually to repair the, the mast or the totem so you can um, uh, tie yourself to it. And that also gives uh, construction XP, just like Winter Todd. It's uh, time, force, uh, time 4 of your level in experience. Here we go, we have now gathered 101 points and it's time to turn them in. For that you need a, a small or big fishing net and there's a small pool outside of the bank and all you need to do is click it once and it will start fishing for the rewards and i have now sped up the clip for you so you can see what i'm getting but here is uh, the potential loot that you can actually get so obviously you you want the the rare stuff we have the tome of water and all of this kind of new stuff that you could you can check up on on the wiki and on what they do and and pets and so on Mostly you just get fish or uh, like planks and seaweed and so on. You can also get caskets and this is what uh, the caskets can include as of right now. Just some basic stuff. Some of these are, are 
for my Iron Man very good as uh, there there's no other way to obtain them in the desert so that is great. Here's the final, actually not the final one, but we still open the caskets and uh, we got pretty mediocre loot considering we can get like 30 to 40 points an hour, so this would have been like, uh, I don't know, 60, no, maybe 100k an hour in cash, so nothing special right now. And But this was at 72 fishing, keep that in mind. Anyway, thank you for watching, leave a like, thank you, bye bye.